I'm Lindsay and Erin Hellman, and Dawson is in second grade here at Covenant Christian School. Uh, my name's Linda Bigger. I'm Alan Bigger. And our children are Stephen and Philip. Uh, they're twins. Ryan and Karen Hoover. Um, we have a boy, Josh. He's in first grade. So this is only his second year here. I'm John Nagel. And I'm Lisa Nagel. And our two daughters, Laura and Julia, have been going here at Covenant since they were in kindergarten. We are Clinton Rush Shorts, and we have five children. When you come to the school, when you come to any program, one of the things you're going to notice the most is that it, it feels like a community rather than a school program. And so all the parents know each other, um, a lot of the kids see each other outside. They love their teachers, and from their first years here, they really uh, had a passion for what they were learning and for the community that, that we were all becoming a part of. It's kind of like having a family. I mean, all the kids in my class, they're like brothers and sisters to me because I've known them since I was about six years old. When I picked Dawson up from school, uh, you know, ask him how his day was, and, and he always has something to say, which is huge because, you know, a lot, a lot of kids will say, fine, and, and don't want to talk about it, but he's always got some good news to share. He's never had a, he's never had a bad day anyway. He, he loves it here, and he makes sure that we know it. My favorite part of him coming here is um, the, the morals and the values that they're teaching. One of the things that, that I've seen with Covenant Christian is, is when I go to the school chapel, um, mm -hmm. it's just amazing to me because God shows up, His presence shows up, and these kids singing songs and quoting scripture. He memorizes Bible verses that, that I don't even know, you know. And uh, he's six years old and he can almost read like a whole paragraph, of just a Bible verse that it's pretty wild. Ultimately, decisions based upon um, your specific denominational beliefs are left up to the parents. It's not preached from the administration or the teachers. If there's, you know, slight differences, um, they leave it up to the parents to decide and teach their children what they want. And that's, and that's huge. We actually want um, to embrace and pursue the mind of Christ. And I mean intellectually, um, spiritually, relationally, and they do that here. They do that here at Covenant Christian School. God loves little children, and I think God loves Christian education, and I think God loves this school, because he has blessed the school in a lot of ways, and blessed the teachers, and certainly blessed the children. And so I think sending your kids to a, a Christian school, no matter what the sacrifice, is well worth it. And you know, being as a man and a father, I think uh, the first thing that came to my mind was the money issue. But it, uh, I've looked at other schools around the area, they charge almost three times the price. It, it's a challenge uh, to send uh, children to a school where you sort of pay your way, for lack of a better word. But at the same time, the blessings far outweigh whatever the sacrifices are. And what I've seen in the paper, um, public schools towards private, towards other private schools, that we tested pretty high. And uh, you know, for the price we're charging here, I don't see why you wouldn't go here. The kids, have, they've had art, they've consistently had gym, they've consistently had music or some type of enrichment. We have soccer and basketball. I really like basketball, it's really fun. We get to know all the people on the team really well and we just create great friendships. One really big advantage to Covenant Christian is the, is the class size. Um, you're not having to compete with, you know, 20 something students in one classroom and that individualization is what really helps these students um, advance far more than what their grade level is what you would find in other schools. The older kids all know him which is a right. huge thing right. for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they play football with them, they'll play basketball with them. Having kids coming home and saying you know Sally or John or whatever the child's name you know mother has cancer and they may oh, be yeah. praying for them or the kids in the class praying for them. It, that's a totally different thing. It's not just, you know, individual school friendships, it's spiritual mm -hmm. friendships, it's, uh, it's things that have got real meaning. I remember um, several years ago when we were a newer family here at the school, I remember walking in on a Friday afternoon, I was coming to carpool and picking up the girls, and, and I walked into the, the school, and there were kids, and this, it really meant a lot to me, children, students, and teachers praising God coming down the hallway. 
And I tell you, that's why I send my kids here, because I want it to be a natural outgrowth of who they are in Christ. They are followers of Christ now. At these ages, they are not the next generation for years to come. They are disciples in training now. And so that's what we do here at Covenant Christian School.